Wallace. Are you ready to take a nap? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's like I wake up in a Disney movie every day. Wallace is a warthog, but he's faithful. He waits for me. He loves hopping up on the couch and laying there and taking a nap and watching TV. But he's uh, like a two-year-old. If there's anything in the house or outside that a two-year-old could reach, he's going to grab it with his snout and pull it down. Did you break this flower pot right here? It's just been a, a great relationship that you would have with a dog, only it's with a, a warthog. Hey, Wallace, come here. What you doing, boy? I started the sanctuary, and I had wanted, ever since I was a child, a warthog. And one day, between Christmas and New Year's, I got a call, and a guy said, look, we took a pair in from a traveling exhibit, and I don't think they meant to have babies, but they did. So we got Wallace. He was three weeks old and we brought him home. Wallace, you can't eat the food. That's Darby's. I know you love Darby. <laughs> because Wallace and his parents were born in captivity. He would not survive in the wild. So we started bottle feeding him till he could lick the milk or the formula out of a bowl. Yeah. But because they don't have their parents, they do what's called imprinting. So they believe you're their parent. And he has just joined at the hip with us. I can never eat in peace, can I? Huh? He'll come over and he'll put his nose on me and then he'll start doing this squealing sound. And it only means one of two things. He either wants to eat or he wants to go. You gonna eat? It's raining outside. Is that why you're not going outside? We raised him with the um, two different Jack Russell puppies, so he has a lot of dog-like behaviors. They slept together, they chased each other, and they were never apart. When I got Wallace, it's uh, given me a purpose that I know I'm healing. I did a combat tour in Afghanistan with the military. When I came home, we tried everything, the counseling and the medicine and all of that. But it wasn't until I immersed myself with these animals. But now I have uh, combat vets and I have people that suffer PTSD that come here to heal. So it was like a dream come true after he came to the sanctuary. Oh, what are you going to do? You're going to eat it or you're going to tip it over? <laughs> I knew it. I'm one of the luckiest uh, people in the world. That's all I, I can say. Good deal. It's time to watch more.